The islands of Hawaii are known for its pristine beaches and aloha spirit, but it's also home to some incredible cuisine and restaurants. I want to try some fish and get my taste on. Oh wow, look oh, at that. Man. That is incredible. Oh, man. Today we're going to sample some delicious Hawaiian dishes that are indigenous to these Pacific islands. I'm eating Hawaiian. Yeah. I'm immersed. And we decide which one is our favorite. Join us as we taste our way through Honolulu, Hawaii. Hawaii is a food lover's paradise. The volcanic soil of these islands offers an abundance of agriculture and the Pacific Ocean is teeming with a bounty of fresh seafood. In recent years, the capital city of Honolulu emerged as a major food destination. This tropical metropolis is a modern melting pot of traditional and ancient cultures that has reflected in the local food culture here. Today, our guide is a native foodie who knows all about Hawaiian hospitality. So right now in the restaurant industry, it is booming like it uh, never has boomed before. There's been more restaurants, new restaurants opening up in Hawaii in the last few years. We're going to sample some of the finest dishes Honolulu has to offer. Then we're going to choose our favorite meal of the day. I'm here in beautiful Hawaii, one of my favorite places in the world. It is just such a great climate, great friendly people, and of course, amazing food. And it's Micah. Aloha, how are you Gary? Very good, I love it when you say that. You know you're in Hawaii when you hear aloha. And Absolutely. like the food, it's very unique. It is, it is. You know, we have a whole different range of different styles of cuisine here that's kind of all kind of come together in kind of one big happy family. Are we eating some food today? We're gonna eat a lot of food today. Hospitality is a synonymous with aloha in Hawaii. It is part of who we are as children of this island and showing people love and hospitality is what we do best. So our first place here is kind of like an icon in Hawaii, isn't it? Roy's. That is synonymous with great Hawaii regional cuisine. It is fantastic. Roy Yamaguchi was really one of the kind of the godfathers of Hawaii regional cuisine and bringing awareness to local cooks, local products. Well, let's get inside and check it out. Let's do it. Well, this is Roy's flagship restaurant. So this is where it all started for him in 1988. He's expanded quite a bit just on Oahu and to all of the other neighbor islands. We're known for doing Hawaiian fusion, so kind of European techniques, trying to use as much local produce, fish as possible. We change the menu really frequently. This is kind of cool. Absolutely, aloha. Aloha, I mean, this is just amazing. So this, this is Roy's, and we're kind of like right between the mountains and the ocean. I mean, yeah. this is a wonderful view. It, there's few settings more beautiful than Roy's in Hawaii Kai. Um, you see everything from some sunrises in some part of the year, sunsets. So Roy, Roy's is a bit of an institution in, in Hawaii, isn't it? I mean, it's been going since 1990. Roy really is one of the main figureheads in Hawaii regional cuisine and really raising the quality. And you know, Hawaii is really the true melting pot in the Pacific Rim. And Roy incorporates all these different great cultures. techniques, different yeah. cultures into what we now know as Hawaii regional cuisine. Now you're, you're a, um, a wine guy, right? Yeah, I'm a certified sommelier. You know, I always joke and tell people that it's just a fancy word for a high functioning alcoholic. <laughs> The whole sommelier profession I really love because it's just, it's the study of being good at our trade and in Hawaii, hospitality is our trade and, pro and profession. Well, we're having some wine today. This one's from Santa Barbara, right? Absolutely. Well, um, cheers. Cheers, sir. Um, let's give it a taste, shall we? Absolutely. Mmm, very nice. So today, we are going to be having some Big Island Kampachi. Um, it's Yum. a, yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Um, nice white meat, okay. um, sweet and mild kind of flavor. And uh, Chef Lindsay is dressing that up with us with uh, some ume, as well as some uh, tabiko. And, really? Uh, just beautiful textural sensation. 
So I'm making a Kona Kumpachi crudo with um, calamansi, Ikari ponzu, and some local mango. And then for the, the fried ehu, um, just score it, dust it with a little bit of flour, and then fry it. And then the sauce that goes with it is a whole farm tomato sambal. And then we make a sort of a little salad with uh, ogo, Big Island Heart of Palm, Kuhupu Sea Asparagus, and Mrs. Chang's tofu, which is also made locally. Now we are in Hawaii. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. That's something you would only find here. Absolutely. The, the whole fish preparation, fried hold fish, it's as good as it comes. It's just stunning. Look at that. This looks amazing. Honestly, you've got to give them 100% for presentation. I mean, that just looks good. So this is um, ehu, so it's a red snapper. Ehu means red in Hawaiian. Yep. And um, it is a snapper that's actually only found in the Hawaiian waters. So it's very, very unique. Um, the flavor of these deep water snappers are just phenomenal. It, so we have this um, island ehu, which is red snapper. Um, it's served here with some kahuku asparagus, local tomatoes, as well as some ogo, which is this lovely purple yep. stuff right here. Um, and then from here, we're just gonna kind of break off a piece. Mind if I serve you, Gary? Go ahead. Look at that. You, we're gonna you obviously, you obviously work off. in the uh, hospitality industry. <laughs> this is yeah, great. We gotta get some of all this good stuff here for you as well. Oh wow, look at that. Put that right on top. Smells just so amazing. So these island fishes are known for being, you know, having a very mild, um, like not any real fishy kind of flavors, yep. but being real sweet, real flaky, real delicate. So they're, they're very unique. And the way Chef prepares this, yep. with the uh, skin being crispy, you got this uh, very, very stimulating sense of uh, textures yeah. and uh, flavors happening all at the same time. Is it because the skin's on that's why they keep it so steamy? Absolutely. I love what's going on there with the, you know, the, you can just see the fluffiness of the texture. Okay, okay let's try it, shall we? Yes, sir. <laughs> Didn't have to ask twice. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow, that's so tasty. And re it's really pillowy and chalky. It, it almost just falls off, which is just so nice. Yum! Every single bite of this is so pillowy and lovely. The crispiness on the outside, obviously, is what harbors all that beautiful flavors from where it was being cooked. It is just a really stunning piece of fish. Oh my gosh, this is such good fish. And it's grown here in Hawaii. Yep. All right, this is great. So we've got one more dish over here. What, what, yeah. What's this one? So this is Big Island Kampachi. This is locally farmed in the ocean uh, in Kona. And so we have over here as well the yukari, yukari ponzu that I'll go ahead and pour over. Yeah, great. Shall we do it? Let's, Absolutely. Let's just help ourselves, shall we? I can't wait to taste this meat. Oh my gosh, look at that. Absolutely. Do you know what? It, it really looks pretty as well. Absolutely. All the colors. All the and colors and everything. So you yeah. Know, this is important in today's... Um, yeah, visual, right? Yep. Oh my gosh. Look at that sauce. It's just perfect. Almost got a tang, citrus tang, and a Absolutely. little hint, the tiniest hint of, sh of a sugary, sweeter flavor. And what I love about it is it doesn't bury the flavor of the fish. No. I mean, we want to see the fish. There That's we go. the show, right? It's a very, very nice piece of fish. In fact, I'm just going to stop talking and keep eating. <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> The capachi is just delicious. Not a big fan of raw uh, fish, but the sauce, the citrus in the sauce, the flavors of, of the accompaniments on the outside, just a really stunning piece of fish. Alrighty, look up, let's finish up here. We're gonna go to our next restaurant now, right? Yes, sir. First restaurant is A1, it's 100%. Obviously, there's nothing to compare it to yet. Where are we off to next? Uh, the next restaurant we'll be at is the um, Beach House at the Moana Surf Rider Hotel in Waikiki. Let's see what the next one is like, and um, I'm going to choose my favorite dish today. Let's do it. Excellent, let's go. After the break, we check out Beach House at Moena. This historic hotel is home to delicious food. Oh, Michael, that is mm. just stunning. Then we head over to Merriman's in downtown Honolulu. Wow, oh wow, look oh, at that. Man. That is oh, incredible. Man. Will these steaming oysters seal the deal? Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're in Honolulu, Hawaii, a modern day foodie paradise in the South Pacific. The first stop on this island tasting journey started at Roy's, where we dined on Kuna Kampachi Crudo. Now we are in Hawaii. And this amazing fried ahu. Wow, that's so tasty. 
Next up is Beach House at Moana, just steps from the Waikiki Beach. This is uh, the First Lady of Waikiki. It was uh, one of the first hotels, I think, on the Waikiki Strip. So it was really uh, prestigious and historic. This building has a lot of history behind it. The restaurant's not so old, though, but it's still, you know, it has the, the ambiance and, you know, it has the gorgeous views of the beach, you know. Okay, so more wine. More wine. Absolutely, this we time, love our wine. This time red, so we're kind of like working up to a bit more meatier. You get more serious as the day <laughs> progresses. Vino and food together, that's as good as it gets for it me. Is. This hotel would have to be one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever seen in my life. It absolutely, absolutely is. And it really paved the way for hospitality in Hawaii. Being one of the first, really? being the first built in Hawaii, known as the First Lady of Waikiki. Wow. Moana Surfrider really is kind of our matriarch in terms of the hospitality industry in Hawaii. I mean, you can almost touch the surf there. It's just, it's just so close. It's just so, such a great background. And to see like where surfing was invented right here while you enjoy a meal. For real? How can you go wrong? Yeah, this I mean, is where the, it'll happen. The Hawaiians, this is where they would surf. They'd wow. ride a live boards made of wood and would surf and slide on these waves. And we're very lucky. And Chef Colin is an amazing local chef that I've had the pleasure of working with in the past. So I'm very excited for this meal. We'll be showcasing our Hokkaido scallop dish. It's uh, seared Hokkaido scallops with a heart of palm curry. Do a little roasted Romanesco, and then we have some citrus on there. Super flavorful. Uh, we have like Thai influence in there, and you know we have a good product with the Hokkaido scallops. Never frozen. It's it's like pretty much the best scallop you can get. So we'll be showcasing one of our porterhouse steaks. It's a nice hefty cut. We're actually going to demo the ahi tataki and then we serve it with a kalamansi ponzu. We'll do some couple sides for you guys, our adobo hamako mushrooms. We'll do our ginger long beans. Here it comes now. All right. Look at that. Excellent. Oh, wow. Excellent. Thank you, Chef. That looks great. Look, thank you. Excellent. Yum. Well, looks like we have a... This is a feast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is a feast. This is a little more than what, what, than what we planned. This is great. There's our seafood. Yeah, here so we go. Seafood, the, the connection to the sea and the, what it gives our islands in yeah. terms of uh, life and food and everything. It's really, really uh, a huge part of, of how we eat every single day. All right, well, I'll start then. Let's have a look at yes, this. Yes, please. Oh, that's a decent size. Look at that. Yeah, no, this is a this is a big boy. And I love that Chef puts a little orange uh, you know, pieces in there to kind of give it, again, that like citrus pop that Yeah, oh, look at that. For. That's really great, mate. All right, let's try this. Yes. Oh. Micah, that is mm. just stunning. Really, really great food. Those scallops are absolutely delicious. I can I can taste the um, the citrus of the orange on top. And it has this like nice oh my God. creaminess to it. Oh my god. Once I put the sauce on, that was a whole other ball game. Yeah, the heart of palm curry that, that chef put together again. Wow. Accentuating those Thai kind of flavors, that sweetness from the heart of palm. Wow. Oh my gosh. I think I just died and you went to heaven. Just stunning. Stunning to taste, stunning texture. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. Alrighty, so that's that done. Let's try this here. <laughs> yeah. This looks really good. This is a, this is tuna, right? Yeah. So this is ahi uh, with local watercress of and a kalamansi um, panzu sauce with a little soy okay. and ginger. So we're gonna so be a bit Japanese, not Yeah, now, absolutely, right? absolutely. So we've almost gone from Thailand, Thailand kind of, and yeah. now we're going over to Japan. Now over to Japan, exactly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. That is really damn good. You know. My favorite part about this dish is it frames out the ahi perfectly. Like yeah. none of those elements overpower the beautiful freshness. The mixture of the fat and the sauce together, it is just heavenly. I'm, I'm eating Hawaii. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, yeah. I'm immersed. I love it. Absolutely. That is so good. Okay, over here we have some mushrooms. Obviously, yes. a quick, quick taste of these. Yeah, absolutely. So these are local mushrooms. Yep. Um, Ali'i mushrooms and Honsumenji mushrooms. Yum. Real, like meaty and... Yeah. It is just a beautiful dish as well. You know what? The interesting thing about the stuff that you guys are growing here um, has a lot of flavor. Like Chef Colin does a great job here at the Moana um, trying to source the best local produce that we can get. And that really, you know, makes a huge difference. When you start off with great ingredients, you're gonna end up with great food. Let, let's have a little quick taste of the, um, yes, the porterhouse here. Let's try some of this. Homegrown mushrooms, wonderful steak, 
wonderful, wonderful meal, and um, I could pretty much just stay here all day and eat here. It's just delicious. That's amazing. amazing. Well, save some room. Mm. We have one more restaurant to do. We do. And it is going to have to be pretty damn good to compete with what we've already seen. Well, let's finish up here and get down to the third one, shall we? All right, excellent. Let's go. After the break, we head over to Merriman's for our final dish of this tasting excursion. Will this octopus escargot seal the deal? Oh my God. Which of these island dishes will be our favorite? Stay tuned. We've sampled some amazing Hawaiian cuisine here in Honolulu. We started off with Kona Kapachi Crudo and this amazing fried dish at the original Roy's in Hawaii Kai. Oh my gosh, this is such good fish. Then Hakiado scallops, porthouse steaks and local ahi. We're on the menu at Beach House at Moana. I'm, I'm eating Hawaii, I'm immersed, I love it. The last stop on this tasting tour brings us to Merriman's in downtown Honolulu. This neighborhood bistro has been pioneering the farm to table movement in Hawaii for decades. So all of the Merriman's restaurants are based on true farm to table. And that's what we do here in Honolulu. So all our, our vegetables, everything is, is locally raised. We do everything in house. We're really proud of our fish here. We think we have the best tasting fish in the world. This yes. restaurant's kind of got like a, almost got a French vibe to it. Yeah, it really does. It has this nice almost bistro style. Yeah. And you know, Peter Merriman's known for doing a beautiful fine dining cuisine, which he really captures in a very French, but yet hospitable local way at the okay. same time, which I love about that. But it's Hawaiian cuisine though, right? It's a Hawaii regional cuisine for sure. It's okay. not just that classic, traditional Hawaiian food, but that same kind of vein of sourcing local, using some Hawaiian techniques, but, but also some French, some Italian, some Japanese, and everything else kind of in the mix. This there. is gonna be very interesting. I'm really yes. looking forward to seeing what, what, what you've got in store for me. Chef Joby today, he's gonna to make the taco, which is actually octopus, and we do it like, as if it's escargot. It's kind of a fun dish. And we're gonna do our smoking oysters that are raised here on Kuloa Ranch on, here on Oahu. And we're also gonna do a macadamia nut crusted fresh fish of the day. We take uh, organic macadamia nuts and we crust the fish in the organic macadamia nut and bake it in the oven that way. So the, the, the octopus is made just like escargot. It's um, tossed in a whole lot of garlic, uh, herbs and flambe with uh, brandy. But smoking oysters are really just fresh oysters on the half shell and they'll be served with a, a red wine vinaigrette and uh, a cocktail sauce. But, but we put them in a dome and pump smoke into it to give it just a hint of and then we bring it to the table. We take the dome off and the smoke comes out. You get the aroma and the flavor in it, but it's still a fresh oyster. Oh, wow. All right. Look at this. Hello. Thank you. We're having oh, yeah. a smoked something. Yep, it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> wow, oh wow, look oh, at that. Man. That is oh, incredible. Man. It actually smells like campfire. Yeah, yeah oh, wow. absolutely. And wait, there's more. There's more. Thank you so much, sir. Excellent. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We need those. There we go, yep, we gotta have share plates. All right, Everything's sir. Everything's about sharing. All right, you wanna go with the oysters first? Let's do the oysters first. Excellent. Well, it's well, still smoky, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you can, and that is really, the, the smoke is infused. It really is. And then you got this oh. little, mind if I, I'll throw yeah, a little ahead. dabble of this on there for yep. you. Oh, that's great. Go. So what's in the sauce? So black shallot, uh, mignonette, so okay. it you know, has a, you know, some nice acid touch to it. Mm. Oh. Yeah, smoky. You can really taste that, that smokiness with the uh, the vinegar wrap they put on top of it. It was sensational. It's not overly briny. Yeah. Beautiful texture. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the Kulo oysters. I, I gotta have another one. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> if you are a hater of oysters, I would recommend you come here and try the oysters here. They are fantastic. All right, what's next? So this is the taco escargot. Oh, um, look at that. So you got all the goodness of the butter. Yep. And, and that's also did a dish. Just like escargot. Just, yeah. just is like, yeah. Yep. All right, let's try it there. It's kind of, I see what they're doing here. They made it look like little snails. Yep, little snails. Oh my God. 
They are not snails. Very salty, very, very buttery, and really just melts away in your mouth. Yeah. Lots of flavors have kind of seeped into, into the meat, and the meat was sucked on it. It was very light, very, very easy to bite into, and absolutely delicious. Yeah, let's move over to this um, macadamia nut crusted fish. So. Okay, so we have macadamia nut, we have some panko there as well. And then on top, this, this sauce looks really good too. Yeah, they, they do this really lovely butter sauce with some local mushrooms. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay. You can taste the nut. Yeah, absolutely. The sweetness kind of comes through yeah. the nut, which is really, really nice. Yeah, it really has, it really has a, a nutty edge to it. Mm -hmm. Again, the fish is just falling apart. The fish, together with that whole dish, with the, the sauces, the macadamia pan panko, the beans, was amazing. All these flavors together still really let that fish shine through, and that's why you come to Hawaii. You know, this is amazing. Well, thanks for nothing. Oh. You made my job very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to make a decision, and I'm going to get you to choose your favorite from the day as well. Oh, man, you're putting some pressure on you me. you got to choose all your right, favorite. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's finish up. Excellent. I've got to make a decision and it's going to be tough. We've tried the best dishes Honolulu has to offer. I'm pretty confident I've got my two favourites. When we come back, we decide which dish is our favourite. It's no surprise, I'm choosing... We've tried the best dishes Honolulu has to offer and now we decide which one is our favourite. I've got to make a decision and it's going to be tough. Thank you so much for a great day. Oh no, my pleasure. It was, it was a pleasure to be able to show you what Hawaii has to offer in terms of cuisine. So um, we kind of started off um, right out there at Roy's, who's like an institution here in Hawaii, yeah. with amazing view of the ocean, with a view yeah. of the mountains as well. Fish that ehu, the red snapper. Wow. I mean, yeah, again, just totally indigenous to Hawaii. Wow, it's so tasty and re it's really pillowy. So good, it just looks pretty on the plate as well. Absolutely. And then we had, oh my gosh, we had the other dish that accompanied that. Yeah, the Big Island uh, Kapachi. Wow. Um, which again, a beautiful white fish. Oh my gosh. The sauce yeah. was amazing. I mean, that yeah, really that did. Yeah, that sauce, sauce really, really, was, really was, was, takes it to the next level. It really did. Then we're down to the old dame herself. Yes. The Moana Surf Rider. Absolutely, the first lady of Waikiki. So there Beautiful. we had the scallops, which I love. So yes. as you know, look at that. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Yes. Oh. Okay. We had the tuna as well. Oh, yeah, um, that tatake, tuna tatake uh, dish with that watercress oh. that, you know, provided that crunch. Oh my God. That is really damn good. Then we were here at Merriman's, which was yes. an absolutely great experience. A French twist on a Hawaiian culture. We started off with the oysters. Wow. Oh, wow. Look oh, at that. Man. That is oh, incredible. Man. Yeah, the Kulo oysters in which they smoke. Loved it. Um, then we had escargot, but it was octopus. It was octopus. So what we call uh, taco um, out here, or actually the Hawaiians would call it he'e. They made it look like little snails. Yep. Oh, my God. It just melts away in your mouth. Yeah. Then we finished it off with our last dish of the day, which was a wonderful piece of fish. You know, it didn't hurt with that lovely butter sauce underneath it. It really has a, a, a nutty edge to it. Mm -hmm. More butter is always better. It's no surprise, I'm choosing, I'm 100% choosing the scallops. I mean, it was a wonderful dish. Absolutely. The curry tang with the citrus on top, um, they fell apart in your mouth. They were just the most wonderful dish. If I had to throw one in there too, it would be uh, that whole snapper at okay. Roy's. All right, so you're gonna go with Roy's, Roy's fish? Yep, Roy's at home. I think we did some good eating today. Thanks, Kerry. This tasting journey has come to a close, but join us next time as we taste more of America.